as gold. Brought to you by Cooperative Bank of Kenya. Lipa na kadi tu. It's safe, convenient, and chop chop. Simply use your normal Coop ATM card that's already in your wallet to pay for fuel, shopping, and your meals at the restaurant. Lipa na kadi tu. Thank you so very much for joining us on this very last day of the week right here at Kenya's Gold. And I'll start by showing you something interesting. Now, I'm very sure someone somewhere today had the pleasure of enjoying a fruit like the banana I'm holding or even an orange thanks to the efforts of a farmer. And after enjoying your fruit, you threw the peels to the ground. And that's where you go wrong because once you throw these peels to the ground, you are not only making the environment ugly but also contributing to climate change effects and I'll tell you why. Once these organic waste make their way to the landfills and they start decomposing under anaerobic conditions, they release a greenhouse gas called methane and this gas contributes highly to climate change effects because it traps more heat into the atmosphere as compared to other gases such as carbon dioxide. So moving forward, let us purpose to dispose waste correctly. Very many thanks for joining us this Friday right here at Kenya's Gold where we purpose to learn ways on how we can conserve the environment, what we can do today for a better tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. My name is Violeta Angina. Something so appealing. When you want to start conversation with a woman for the very first time, you can talk to her about global warming. That is an ice breaker. This is one of my hot pieces because it's about climate change. No wonder it is hitting the airwaves. East or west? Home is not the best because I grew up in Eastland, but my environment is just Westland. Environmental degradation has made some species of plants to disappear. Plants that could offer us medicinal value. Sugar no longer has taste. Water is becoming tasty. Where there was a clean water to drink, now there is a toxic waste that stink. But man just destroys his benefactor, Mother Nature provides, protects, and offer us shelter. The sun is the father because it makes the nature to produce. But Mother Nature is not able to deal with these changes in the environment because the layer is being zoned. 1991, Saddam Hussein attacked Kuwait. He was resisted by French and British army. Out of anger, he set on fire more than 100 oil wells. Oil wells that burned for almost six months before that fire could be put out. Climatologists say that the entire smoke released in the atmosphere was worse than the entire smoke released during the Industrial Revolution. But man is not looking at his future. He has become a burden of beast, defending and not taking care of the future. He's leaving a burden to the future generations who will pay for all this price. Those who are following the rules, the regulations, it's just Sir Henry, Sir Smith, in a round table with this uh, conference, having some uh, more uh, implementing policies, and then they force the other people who are not involved to implement these policies. You know what happened? Climate change, weather, 
Weather is affected by clouds. Cloud is affected by cosmic waves. Cosmic waves are affected by seismic waves. I mean, all this jargon. Why can't we just be simple and teach everyone what is climate change? I mean, if you meet your grandmother, they're in a country. If she asks you what is climate change, let us involve everyone. It is not just a middle class crisis. Everyone needs to be involved at every stage or else we will be stuck here. So in simple term, just don't throw waste anyhow, Lee. What I'm saying, if you've done plastic surgery, don't swim in the ocean. Why? That is plastic waste. Steve the Great, like I tell all my friends, work on your attitude, the rest of the things we can negotiate, but not your attitude. Hey, is this how we say good job in this is how spoken we, we just snap, we just snap. What a way to start the show. Thank you so very much, Steve Poet, for such a great piece on environment conservation. Yes. But very quickly before we move on, I'd just like to find out what inspired you to use your art as a spoken word artist to talk about matters environment. I mean, you could talk about love, you could talk about fashion, but here you are talking about the environment. Okay, you see, with spoken word, we mostly try to bring the changes and to pass the message. So it's more simpler to use art to pass your message in a way that everybody can understand. Because sometimes this climate conversation uh, is too much jargon. So at least we need to bring it to a lower person because the effect is starting from the low level. So with spoken word, at least, or any other art, it's more easier for people to understand and get, ah, so it's all this simpler. Right. And since you've mentioned you come from the Eastlands area, maybe you can tell me growing up, what did you see that you did not like about your environment that you decided you'd use your art to change the way of life where you come from? I, I grew up in Eastland, but uh, the issue was, especially the overpopulation, you know, there's the things that come with overpopulation. Now you find there's a lot of disorganization in terms of even drainage systems, so sewage could just be passing near your house, there are the flying toilets, and then the, the improper way of waste disposal. So because of that, we are indeed having a lot of challenges. So I felt like, is this exactly what human beings need to grow it? Because sometimes I look at plants and animals, and I say, animals seem to have a better environment than man. <laughs> All right. Thank you so very much, Steve. The poet for opening the show for us with such a powerful spoken word artist. But for now, we want to get straight into our feature of the day where we will be continuing with a conversation on using biological pest control measures as a way of dealing with a very notorious parasite that pest is a pest that has been affecting our maize farmers. That is the fall armyworm. We will not be in the farm today. We will be in the lab. Take a look.